one of the legendary houses of the footballing world, the San Siro Stadium in Milan, Italy, houses two sporting giants in AC Milan and Inter Milan. Stadio Giuseppe Misa, commonly known as San Siro, is a football stadium in the San Siro district of Milan, Italy, which is the home of AC Milan and Inter Milan. It has a seating capacity of 80,018, making it one of the largest stadiums in Europe, and the largest in Italy. On March 3, 1980, the stadium was named in honor of Giuseppe Misa, the two-time World Cup winner, 1934-1938, who played for Inter and briefly for Milan in the 1920s, 1930s and 1940s, and served two stints as Inter's manager. The San Siro is a UEFA Category 4 stadium. It hosted three games at the 1934 FIFA World Cup, the opening ceremony and six games at the 1990 FIFA World Cup, three games at the UEFA Euro 1980 and four European Cup Finals, in 1965, 1970, 2001 and 2016. The stadium will also host the opening ceremony of the 2026 Winter Olympics of Milan and Cortina di Ampezzo. Construction of the stadium commenced in 1925 in the district of Milan named San Siro, with the new stadium originally named Nuovo Stadio Calcistico San Siro, San Siro New Football Stadium. The idea to build a stadium in the same district as the horse racing track belonged to the president of AC Milan at the time. Piero Pirelli. The architects designed a private stadium only for football, without athletics tracks which characterized Italian stadiums built with public funds. The inauguration was on September 19, 1926, when 35,000 spectators saw Inter defeat Milan 6-3. Originally, the ground was home and property of AC. Milan. Finally, in 1947, Inter, who used to play in the Arena Civica downtown, became tenants, and the two have shared the ground ever since. From 1948 to 1955, engineers Armando Ronca and Ferruccio Calzolari developed the project for the second extension of the stadium, which was meant to increase the capacity from 50,000 to 150,000 visitors. Calzolari and Ronca proposed three additional, vertically arranged, rings of spectator rows. 19 spiraling ramps, each 200 meters long, gave access to the upper tiers. During construction, the realization of the highest of the three rings was abandoned and the number of visitors limited to 100,000. Then for security reasons, the capacity was reduced to 60,000 seats and 25,000 standing. On March 2, 1980, the stadium was named for Giuseppe Misa, 1910 to 1979, one of the most famous Milanese footballers. For a time, Inter fans called the stadium Stadio Misa due to Misa's stronger connections with Inter, 14 years as a player, three stints as manager. However, in recent years both Inter and Milan fans have called the stadium simply San Siro. The last major renovation for the San Siro, which cost $60 million, was in of 1987 to 1990, for the 1990 FIFA World Cup. It was decided to modernize the stadium by increasing its capacity to 85,000 spectators and building a cover. The municipality of Milan entrusted the work to the architects Giancarlo Ragazzi and Enrico Hoffer, and to the engineer Leo Finza. To increase capacity, a third ring was built, only in the two curves and in the west grandstand, which rests on 11 support towers surrounded by helical ramps that allow access to the public. Four of these 11 concrete towers were located at the corners to support a new roof, which has distinctive protruding red girders. In 1996, a museum was opened inside the stadium charting AC. Milan and Internazionale's history, with historical shirts, cups and trophies, shoes, art objects and souvenirs of all kinds on display to visitors. Three Milan Derby Champions League knockout ties have taken place at the San Siro, in 2003, 2005 and 2023 with AC. Milan winning the first of two ties with the latter being won by Inter Milan.
the reaction of Inter's fans to impending defeat in the 2005 match, throwing flares and other objects at Milan players and forcing the match to be abandoned, earned the club a large fine and a four-game ban on spectators attending European fixtures there the following season. Apart from being used by Milan and Inter, the Italian national team occasionally plays games there. It has also been used for the European Cup Finals of 1965, won by Inter, 1970, won by Feyenoord, and the UEFA Champions League Finals of 2001, won by Bayern Munich, and 2016, won by Real Madrid. The stadium was also used for the home leg of three UEFA Cup Finals in which Inter was competing, 1991, 1994, 1997, when these were played over two legs. It was also used by Juventus for their home leg in 1995 as they decided against playing their biggest matches at their own Stadio del Alpi at the time. On each occasion, apart from 1991, the second leg was played at the San Siro and the winners lifted the trophy there. However, the stadium has not yet been selected as the host stadium since the competition changed to a single match final format in 1997-98. The San Siro has never hosted a final of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, but was the host stadium for the 1951 Latin Cup, a four-team event won by AC Milan. The city was also the venue for the 1956 edition of the Latin Cup, also won by Milan, but those matches were played at Arena Civica. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic in Italy, on March 25th, the Associated Press dubbed the UEFA Champions League match between Bergamo Club Atlanta and Spanish Club Valencia at the San Siro on February 19 as Game Zero. The match was the first time Atlanta has progressed to a Champions League round of 16 match, and had an attendance of over 40,000 people about one-third of Bergamo's population. By March 24, almost 7,000 people in the province of Bergamo had tested positive for COVID-19, and more than 1,000 people had died from the virus making Bergamo the most hard-hit province in all of Italy during the pandemic. On June 24, 2019, AC Milan and Internazionale announced their intention to build a new stadium to replace the San Siro. The new 60,000 capacity stadium, which would be constructed next to the San Siro, was initially anticipated to cost 800 million US dollars and be ready for the 2022 to 23 season, although this did not come to pass. Giuseppe Sala, the current mayor of Milan, and the commune of Milan asked for time and stressed that the San Siro would be kept until at least the 2026 Winter Olympics and Winter Paralympics to be held in Milan and Cortina di Ampezzo. The proposed project was also met with some skepticism and opposition by several fans of both teams. On September 26, 2019, AC Milan and Internazionale released two potential designs for the new stadium next to the original ground, tentatively named the Nuovo Stadio Milano, designed by Populus and Manica, respectively. On May 22, 2020, Italy's Heritage Authority raised no objections to demolishing the San Siro. On December 21, 2021, the Populous Project was chosen. Opening ceremony of the 2026 Winter Olympics, Milano Cortina, will be held at San Siro on February 6, 2026. San Siro was the venue for the boxing match between Julio Loi vs. Carlos Ortiz for the junior welterweight title in 1960. The first and only top-level rugby union match to be played at San Siro was a test match between Italy and New Zealand in November 2009. A crowd of 80,000 watched the event, a record for Italian rugby. Since the 1980s, the stadium has hosted concerts by some of the major international artists. The first ever to perform there was Bob Marley on June 27. 1980, during the Uprising Tour. Afterwards it had the opportunity to host Bob Dylan and Santana in 1984, Bruce Springsteen in 1985, Duran Duran and David Bowie in 1987, Michael Jackson in 1997, and in more recent times, the Red Hot Chili Peppers in 2004, U2 in 2005 and 2009, 
The Rolling Stones in 2006 and 2022, Madonna in 2009, Depeche Mode in 2009, 2017 and 2023, Muse in 2010 and 2019, Bon Jovi in 2013, Pearl Jam in 2014, Beyonce in 2016, Coldplay in 2017 and 2023, Ed Sheeran in 2019 and Elton John in 2023. Eduardo Beneto, in July 1980, was the first Italian artist to perform and records sold out. Instead in 2007 Laura Pausini was the first female artist to perform in the stadium and also held two consecutive concerts, on June 4-5, 2016. Vasco Rossi, is the artist who holds the record for largest number of performances on the stadium, with 29 concerts between 1990 and 2019, followed by Luciano Ligabu with 13 concerts. Vasco Rossi also holds the record for consecutive concerts, six time repeats between June 1 and 12, 2019. The international artist to held the largest number of concerts at San Siro is Bruce Springsteen. The stadium hosted the 1934 World Cup semi-final which saw Italy beat Austria 1-0 on June 3, 1934, and shortly after the San Siro was purchased by the city of Milan, who started the stadium's first expansion project in 1935. The project involved the construction of four connecting curves between the stands along with an increase in capacity for the two central stands. Upon conclusion of the work, the Milanese people were handed back a stadium that could now host 55,000 fans. The 60s, 70s and 80s brought a period of great success for both Milan teams, as they won European and worldwide trophies, the commemorative plagues for which now line the walls of the San Siro stairways. With Italy selected as the host nation for the 1990 World Cup, the stadium underwent huge renovations, with the project led by architects Giancarlo Ragazzi, Enrico Hoffer, and engineer Leo Finza. A third tier was built, independently supported by 11 cylindrical towers arranged around the stadium which gave access to the stands. Four of these towers also hold up the large supporting beams for the new stadium roof. The colors of the seats mark the four sectors into which Sansaro is divided. Red and orange for down the sides, green and blue behind the goals. Each of the 85,700 seats was then covered with a polycarbonate sheet, which both ensured greater comfort for spectators and natural lighting for the grass pitch when the stadium was empty. New lighting and an undersoil grass heating system were installed to maintain a constant temperature for the pitch, preventing the formation of ice. On June 8, 1990, the stadium hosted the opening match of the World Cup and Cameroon beat Argentina 1-0. Since then, every Sunday the Scala of Milanese football has hosted and continues to host the passion of thousands of fans. In the summer of 2008, following the redevelopment works to adapt the structure to the standards required by UEFA, the capacity of the stadium was reduced to 80,018. Renovation works were carried out in the summer of 2012 and more have taken place since. The management of the San Siro Stadium and related activities, including those related to branding and merchandising, is carried out by the company MI Stadio SRL, founded on December 12, 2011 from the original company Consorzio San Siro de Mila. Also the venue for major events, concerts and shows, the hallowed San Siro pitch has hosted the greatest champions to ever grace this sport, both wearing the AC Milan shirt and those of teams competing against the Rossoneri. Inter, meanwhile, were founded in 1908, becoming a breakaway club from AC Milan following the death of the club's influential Nottingham-born founder Herbert Kilpin. The split was precipitated by a disagreement over the acceptance of foreign players, some AC Milan members wanted the club to be more Italian-centric. The Milan Derby is one of the most historic rivalries in world football. It is known as Derby della Madonna in honor of one of the city's most famous landmarks, the statue of the Virgin Mary on top of the Duomo, which is often referred to as the Madonna. The fixture takes place at least twice a year due to both teams competing in Italy's top flight, Serie A, 
but there have often been more matches between the two Milan clubs over the course of different seasons, with additional meetings in the Coppa Italia, Supercoppa Italia and European competition. It is one of the very few rivalries in football where both sides play their matches in the same stadium. In this instance, Inter and Milan play their home games at San Siro. To avoid fixtures clashing, the two teams never have any home games on the same day. There are many other famous teams that share a stadium like Inter and Milan. In Italy, both Roma and Lazio play their matches at Stadio Olimpico and the pair have been tenants of the stadium since 1953. Similarly, Stadio Luigi Ferraris is shared by both Genoa and Sampdoria, with the former playing their matches at the ground since 1911 and the latter since 1946. Thank you for watching this and loving football.